climbing a crane in Washington, D.C. What's up, guys? Jack Yost, and I'm going to take you through what it's like to climb a crane and the best possible way for you to do this. Yo, so I'm going to start right from when you even, before you even get going to the site when you arrive. So when we arrived to the site, we actually waited in the car for about 10 minutes to make sure that no cars were driving by. In the span of that 10 minutes, maybe like one car drove by, but it's definitely enough where you don't have to actually worry about that. So before we went in, we made sure that we had, you don't want to wear dark clothes, um, you don't want to wear sneakers, that you don't care about getting dirty because at a construction site, there's going to be mud everywhere. Um, and yeah, we pretty much just made sure that the coast was clear. The thing about doing this in a city, so like I said, we're in Washington, D.C., um, we're in this we're, we're in the outskirts probably about 10 minutes away from downtown and what's cool about this is this is a great location because a when you get to the top you're gonna see the entire city of Washington DC and B the security is a lot less than it would be in a city most places in the city probably have security on site and that's definitely a big thing that 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 would make me not like you don't want to go to a place that has security so if you know it has got security don't even try with that but if you if it's a smaller place like this, kind of out in the outskirts, not too big of a project, most likely there's no security on site during the nighttime. Um, you definitely have to worry about people, though. So in a city, people will call. If they see kids playing or, uh, you know, they think they're just, like, climbing up, trying to get pictures or whatever, they'll definitely call people. So you want to make sure that if the people that are there, you want to make sure they're not around right now, keep your lights off. And the best time to do this, to go climb cranes, is probably... Probably about two or three in the morning, I'd say, because if it's a weekend, you're gonna have people coming home from bars mm -hmm. at about one o'clock, one to two. But when it hits three, it gets pretty quiet. So three is a pretty good time. Um, so you may wonder, I'm gonna start. Why climb a crane? Cranes are perfect because they're made to climb. Think about it. A person literally goes to work every single day to climb to the top of a crane. Now the view's not nice for him because he works there. But this structure is made to climb. So it's perfect to get a good view and just have a thrilling time. And again, you gotta be careful of security because I've heard of people actually going to jail because this is pretty serious trespassing. Um, usually if you have a camera with you and you're taking pictures, um, they'll, they'll let you off easily because you're not there to vandalize because you're actually there for mm -hmm. photography or whatever you want. But you definitely don't want to take your chances. So again, you want to dress in all dark. No you want to put your phone, phone's That's brightness cool. pretty low. And you want to you want to definitely be cautious. So if you see cars going by, just stop for a sec. Stop and just and just try and blend in with the dark. Be against the dark backdrop, and just wait for one sec for them to go by. Now the way we're getting in now is we got pretty lucky. Usually when you climb, you have to get to the bottom of the crane. Um, so you got to go into the structure and climb down to get into the crane. But we found a little spot where we could just walk onto a scaffolding and then hop on the crane right there, which is pretty lucky. And again, if you're doing this, you, you, you definitely want to be a little bit fit because it's a little bit hard to get in some of these tight spaces, you know, and um, you definitely, you definitely got to be ready because, because once you get on that crane, like you want to, you want to get going because the longer you're on it, the easier it is to spot you. Right now, we're actually under a spotlight right now, so you'll see how bright it is right now. So we're just trying as fast as we can to get up to the top because this is probably the most dangerous part is right here. You can see how bright that is. So we're just racing to get to the top. And again, you can't be so. You just got to go. It's going to be sketchy, but you just got to keep looking up, keep on moving. One step at a time, they say. This is actually my buddy filming right now. Um, I'm a little bit behind him with the camera because we're going to go filming when we get to the top. But my buddy's got the GoPro on his chest. And I definitely recommend GoProing on your chest is, is how you get the best shots because you get what your arms are doing, which is pretty important when you're doing this. So as you can see, we're starting to get to DC. I would say this crane is about, I'd say we're about 70 to 80 feet in the air right now. And by the time we get to the top, we're probably talking about 140 feet to the top. 100, 130, 140. It always seems higher when you're looking down than what it really is. But see, you guys see, like, not one car has gone by on the road road behind, uh, below us. So, it's, again, it's about 3, three o'clock in the morning right now. So this is a pretty safe time to do this. And you can see we got in the dark right now. So we're just hustling our way to the top to get out of the light. I don't know if, you, if we'll see it, but when we got to the top, there was actually actually um, a bus that went by, like a, like, like a Greyhound or something like that. 
and then we actually heard a siren about five minutes later and it wasn't for us it was just in a distance just happened but but that that, that freaked me out so much because like your mind instantly goes to it it's coming for us so my buddy chance just hit the top right here so this is the top of the crane just uh, the cool thing about this is that when you get to the top of the crane, you can, because it, again, it's meant for somebody to be up here, so you can walk around quite a bit up there without it being too dangerous. I mean, there's, um, there's, uh, there, there, there's steel pipes on the side there, so you're not going to fall. Again, the climbing cranes is just a great thing to do because it's meant for climbing, and you're going to get great views. There's D.C. right there. That's, that's Washington, D.C. Denver. And again, I'm taking a little bit longer because I got a backpack full of gear on my back that was hitting the cage every time I took a step. So I'm trying to like twist my body on the side while I go so I don't smash my camera. Denver, come on. But yeah, guys, you just want to be really careful of having your flash on. So, but when you're at the top, people aren't normally when they drive looking looking upwards at, at, into a crane while I drive. Like, nobody really does that, so you should be pretty fine. If you notice a car starting to drive, just hold still. Just hold still and blend it with something, with something that's black against you, and you're, you're more than likely going to be fine. Again, it's a little bit sketchy because you don't know if they saw you or not. There's no way to tell. But I've heard of people getting caught on a crane and actually being let go because the cops saw that they had a camera with them and were just doing it for photography purposes. So... If you bring a camera, I mean, maybe they'll go lenient on you, but if you get one dickhead who just wants to, you know, screw you over, then then you might be in a little bit of trouble. So, again, you just want to be careful when you're up here at the top. I actually have seen cranes that have flashing lights on 24-7. So, th those are... The, so, people might, if they see your flash, just think it's a flashing light, but you still want to be a little bit careful. Again, turn your, turn your flashlights off, or your, your flashes. As far as tips I have for you guys, you definitely want to scout out where you're going to go the first time you go. Uh, we scouted this out a day before, but you just want to make sure that it's going to be an area where you're not going to be easily seen and where cars don't normally drive by. So the road that we're on, it's not a through road. The only cars that per se would hopefully be there are only, although we did see a bus, would only be people who live in the residence. And at 3 o'clock in the morning, not many people are going by at this time. I still don't think even one car has gone by yet, so so this is pretty safe. This is a good spot to do. And then if you leave the city, you also just get an awesome view of the city as soon as you climb up. So the view isn't even a worry. Like you're gonna see everything when you get to the top. And I believe I just made it at this point. So at this point, we were just came here to take some to take some pictures. Again, we got to the top. We were only up here for about two more minutes, and then we went back down because we thought we heard a siren. Again, like your brain is gonna trick you out, so you don't. So you probably just gonna hear things even though they're not there. But we thought we heard a siren, so we raced back down. But we 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 got up and we got down in in about about ten minutes. So. It's